Good morning, North Schuylkill. I'm Callie Adolowski. And I'm Liam Wolf. In the news. It seems now more than ever, it is essential that we understand the importance of diversity and being PC. Last Friday, Mrs. Live and members of the Diversity Club traveled to Penn State Schuylkill for the Schuylkill County Youth Conference. Key speaker Dr. Michael Fallon discussed themes of tolerance, respect, and cultural diversity. For more on this story, Brooke Analoski. We forget the individual that's part of that group. And I'm a big fan of not forgetting the individual. I don't care what group you're attached to or belong to or your favorite sports team or the music you listen to. You are far more complex and far more beautiful than just that group. And so I'm a big fan of pulling out the individual and understanding that person. I am part of the problem. And I do not trust anyone, kid or adult, who claims they're not. Here's the deal with me. If you can't admit your role in the problem, I don't trust you to become part of the solution. That's it. And so I think we all can do a better job. All of us. Whether we're the leaders of our school or we're the ones who call this paint for other people. We all can do better at just trying to help other people feel more included and other people feel less alone. Now, you have this thing every year, am I right? Yes, it's a Schuylkill County Youth Conference and we hold it annually in the fall for all of the school high schools that are in our county. Do you think that it impacts the people who attended positively? Absolutely. I think it sends a message to uh, leadership students that are chosen by the schools um, to go back and hear something important about appreciating diversity and acceptance, acceptance of others and then making sure that they go back and actually do action back at their school to change things. How do you pick the guest speaker every year? Is it like people tell you or do you just all get together and decide? Um, we, I do take suggestions and actually I have an ongoing uh, business relationship with the Anti-Defamation League and they have a lot of youth programs as well for, at a national perspective. So I asked them for some current speakers and they recommended uh, Dr. Michael Fallon and I'm super glad I took the recommendation. Okay, well thank you for letting us attend and we'll see you next year. In addition to the positive themes explored by the Diversity Club, another group in the school is also stressing the importance of acceptance. The group Friends Forever was established last year and has been growing steadily. Members dedicate their time to events in the school where all are welcome. Maddie Meyer has more on this topic. Hey, this is Maddie Meyer with In The News, and I'm with Connor Wood. Connor, what is Friends Forever? Friends Forever is a student-run organization that's goal is to include everybody in the school from all different types of social groups and basically just to have a good time. Great. Okay, I'm with Michelle Gronsky. She's a member of Friends Forever. Okay, so how can you participate? Um, you can ask Mr. Wislowski or Mr. Evans in guidance in order to join Friends Forever. I'm with another member, Jenny Kaufman, of Friends Forever. Who exactly can participate? Anybody in the school can participate. You can be of any age group, social group, anything, as long as you want to go out and have a good time with everybody else. Okay, and I'm with Mr. Wiz. What kind of activities do you do in Friends Forever? Uh, we do a number of things uh, with Friends Forever. Uh, we try and just get everyone together um, to have you know a lot of fun with each other and get to know each other. A lot of times we'll have food provided. Um, we just had our Halloween pumpkin painting. Um, and we're looking to, in Christmas, around Christmas time, have some kind of Christmas party. But we could do a number of things from going to sporting events to um, chorus concerts um, and, and movie nights and really whatever the kids want to do since it is a student-run student -run organization. Oh, cool. 
And what's your next event in Friends Forever? Like I said, I think we're going to try and do something for Christmas, uh, maybe have some kind of Christmas party, um, you know, with as many kids around the school that, that want to attend. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll make sure we keep you guys updated. Okay, cool. As you have heard yesterday, the administration is planning a reward for your awesome performance this year and the county's highest SPP score. Teachers and administration have been busy planning events for a school field day to be held Wednesday, November 25th. Events include a variety of sports and physical activities, games, movies, and other extensions of courses in the school. Mr. Smith and a select group of students will also be performing live in the auditorium. Even though the day is designed to have fun and relax, it is still important to remember that basic school rules still apply and that your attendance at the events you choose will be recorded. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Minalda and we will attempt to clear up any information in Wednesday's broadcast. You will be permitted to wear jeans, Spartan t-shirts, and sweatpants depending on the activities you choose, so make sure that you don't break a dress code and run the risk of being punished on a day meant for fun. After seven years, three books, and three film adaptations, the international sensation known as The Hunger Games will finally gain closure tonight as the final installment of the series. Mockingjay Part 2 hits theaters. Let's cut to Brielle Frosch reporting live from District 12. I'm Brielle Frosch reporting live from District 12, Pan Am. Um, no, nothing's really happening. Anyway, if you're anything like me, then you don't have plans this Friday, so you can go to the movies to see the epic finale of The Hunger Games, which is Mockingjay Part 2. Seven years, three books, and three movies later, we've arrived at this epic finale, where we find out if Katniss Everdeen can truly defeat the Capitol. But, if you're not into dystopian societies and chicks with bows and arrows, then you can come to the school Friday night at 7 to see the futuristic dino movie Jurassic World with Chris Pratt. But, ladies and gentlemen, the true, 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 true question, Josh Hutcherson or Chris Pratt? Josh Hutcherson or Chris Pratt? You decide. I'm out. I'm Effie Trinket. And I'm Caesar Flickerman. And may the odds be ever in your favor.